Hey guys, um, don't mind my crazy hair. I'm at home, who cares? <laughs> eh. Alright, well, based on the title of this video, you guys know that this is going to be our final assignment for junior high art this semester. Um, so, let's get started. So basically what your final assignment for me is going to be one final drawing. So, first and foremost, do you remember our research assignment that we did when we first started doing cl uh, classes at home? We did a research assignment where you chose an artist or an art movement that you found interesting and I told you guys to send me like three facts that you learned about it, you know, that assignment. I wanted you guys to try to remember that. If you don't, don't worry. I'll be sending you guys a list of whatever you guys did. And yeah, what I really wanted you guys to do for that assignment was really pay attention to whatever you chose. Just look at like paintings from like that artist or from the art movement that you chose just to get a good idea of what, what it was. Because we're going to do it for a future assignment. Now, at the time I thought we were going to be coming back to school, but unfortunately we didn't, so we're doing it for our final assignment at home. So here we go. <laughs> so your assignment, your final assignment for me, you're basically going to be doing a religious themed drawing something based around the Catholic religion, okay? And you're gonna be combining that with the artist or the art movement style that you chose for your research project. That might sound a little confusing, but I'll show you some, some examples. I'll send you guys through email of what my um, last semester did. So you guys get a better understanding. You'll get like a good visual of what you can do. But as of right now, I'll just show you like some potential stuff that you could do. So when you're going to be doing this assignment, the first thing you might want to do is think about what kind of religious image you want to draw. This can be whatever you want as long as it's Catholic based. So here's just some examples. You don't have to do what I show you. You can always do your own research, find whatever it is that you want. So. But here's just some examples. You can always keep it simple and you can do something with crosses. You can always do like a nice um, sunset, a nice scenery with crosses. That's a possibility. If you're one to try to do like draw people, here's some options. You can always do Mary or Our Lady of Guadalupe. There's some options there, or a classic, Jesus himself in some form. Or if you're not into doing any of those, you can always do like, if you're more into like architecture, buildings, stuff like that, you can always choose a location in the world that's like found in the Bible, like the Holy Land, something like that, or the Vatican or some kind of like cathedral, even better if you wanna do um, St. Helens, our church, or even better, the school. That's like way better because I think what I'm gonna do is once you guys finish with these, I'm gonna be sending the pictures to Dr. Coleman because I'm pretty sure she's gonna love seeing these. So no pressure or anything, but make them look pretty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just try your best, guys. I'm sure Dr. Coleman will love them no matter what. So, anyway. Um, oh, um, as always, I highly recommend that you guys uh, color these. If you don't, if you don't have colors at home, no problem. You can always do it in black and white. It's really up to you guys. So, once you find whatever religious image you want to do, like I said, you can use whatever I showed you, 
or do your own research. You can even do like, I don't know, angels, saints, um, the Pope, some something else, as long as it's Catholic based. And then what you're gonna do, once you have an idea of what you wanna draw, then you're going to take <laughs> your uh, chosen artist or art movement, the one that you did your research on, and you're gonna basically combine the two. So what I mean by that is just for a quick example, say you picked Vincent van Gogh for your research and say you want to do something like this, like with a cross. Basically what your drawing is going to be is you're going to do this picture in the style of Vincent van Gogh. So that means like you can you you can try to replicate like the brush strokes he uses in his paintings or like um, you can use the color schemes that he used, similar colors. You're just gonna, you're gonna combine whatever religious image you want with the artist or art style that you chose. You're gonna combine them together to make a really cool picture. Um, if you guys are still confused on that, don't worry. You can always email me questions um, if you still need help. But I will also, like I said, I'll be sending you guys examples of what my um, last semester did. Because I think once you guys have a visual of what the project is, I think you guys will have a better understanding of it. So don't worry about that. I'll be sending you guys that. So don't worry. All right, so that is basically your final assignment. I know, that's it. You just have one more drawing for me to do. So, aside from all that, this has been a very strange year, hasn't it? <laughs> School year. Um, this whole thing with the virus and staying home. I know it's been really tough on you guys. I know. It's been tough on everybody. But we're almost done with the semester. Almost done. Summer is almost here. Hopefully, you guys will be able to go on vacation, do something. Um... But other than that, you know, I just want to say it's been a pleasure teaching you guys this year. It's been really, really fun. Um, a lot of you guys probably don't know this, but this was actually my first year teaching art. So um, this was actually a really fun learning experience for me, <laughs> just so I know like how like the classroom works being around you guys, helping you guys out. It's been it's been a very nice teaching experience for me. So I just want to say thank you for allowing me to teach you art. I hope y'all learned something. <laughs> At least remember a little something what I taught you. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just some final words from me, um, especially to the eighth graders who are graduating this year. Um, good luck with whatever you guys decide to do in the future. I know you're moving on to high school next and um, you're probably stressing about it, but don't worry, it's, it's high school. You guys are gonna be just fine. But uh, definitely, you know, keep expanding your education, your thinking, um, and continue doing art. That goes for all you guys, you know? Um, even if this is your last art class ever, just keep doing art because art's fun. Um, it's really fun to learn new stuff in art, experiment, expand your art thinking, your creativity. It's just fun, right? Just keep doing it. Take more classes in the future. And yeah, eighth graders, I will see you guys later to all the uh, other St. Helen Saints who are returning next year. If you want to retake art for next year, I will be back. So we're probably gonna do some new projects and probably we're gonna do some, some of the same projects we did this semester and some we couldn't get to. Um, so yeah. Just saying, if you want to sign up for next year, I say do it. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Have a great summer. And uh, oh yeah, 
And for those of you in my after school classes, I'm coming back next year too, just so, just so you know. Y'all thought I forgot about that, huh? <laughs> no. I know who's my uh, after school kids. I'll see you guys next year too. So <laughs> that should be fun, right? <laughs> so any here guys, all right. It's been awesome teaching you guys and I will see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.